Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke, where I've ignored my better judgment to uh, continue going on. Uh, I feel like my computer's going to run out of storage space again because of just how much I've recorded today. Uh, so, if this episode ends weird, you know why. We haven't gotten the warning yet, so we're going to go ahead and just ignore the fact that anything bad could happen. And Meyer is going to be a great switch here. Oval ain't afraid of no uh, Geodude quite yet. Because I feel like that thing has trash special defense. Yeah, one more and it's done. Uh, and he, he went for the mud sport like a fool. So, all is well. Oh, acid hits them both. Cool. <laughs> Didn't realize that Geodude would be getting a contact high. Except it's dead. Oh, but now Numel is going to get the contact high. <laughs> Nice! Oh, look at that. Some people just can't handle their acid. Did you see that? Go ahead and protect yourself. Just because I wanted Meyer to get the kill there. Alright, that hiker's name was Lucas, but he spelled it wrong, so I refuse to acknowledge it outside of that. <laughs> ah, yes, he, he said yodelay who and he wanted it to echo, but... I uh, wasn't really up for his bullshit, so... Oh god! <laughs> so I've unleashed magnitude 10 on him, that's as powerful as the move Earthquake. <laughs> also, Spot has just a really nice amount of HP right now, I'm really <laughs> glad that she's so bulky. Alright, Meteor Falls, featuring a full heal in the corner, that seems like a lot. Alright, and I can catch this Zubat if I so choose, and I think I will. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna expend too much energy on this thing though, just a casual attack and a Pokeball. Works. Alright. Ooh, and I'm gonna name this thing Tabler. Uh, because whenever whenever you're just like minding your own business, chilling in a cave, uh, you're likely to get like a million Zubats coming at you, uh, whether you want them to or not. Uh, same is the case if, it is, if you're in White Plaza. Um, that's just this nice little common space where people like to uh, walk and bike around. And uh, it's like a really central location, so people go through there a lot. Um, and it doesn't matter if they're there for like a presidential candidate. or. Alright, and I am back ostensibly on a different day, wearing a different shirt. Uh, ex exactly what I thought was going to happen happened in that I uh, ran out of storage space <laughs> and uh, had to stop recording in the middle of an episode. So now we, we've walked in on a uh, Team Magma event in, in Meteor Falls um, and I, I'm going to have to pay for my, my uh, hubris except uh, Archie is going to come in and give him a solid talking to. Even Team Aqua joins us, but it's too much trouble to deal with you all. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. Hee hee hee. Nothing more maniacal than a guy who says hee hee hee. Be seeing you, Team Aqua dingbats. God. I didn't know this this game was rated T for teen with that kind of language. <laughs> Didn't I see you before at Slayport's Museum? Ah, so your name is Lucas. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. Humph, you're one odd kid. Team Magma is a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expa expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Aqua. Clearly, we're better and not equally crazy. <laughs> We should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Lucas, you should keep an eye out for Team Magma, too. Farewell. God, I wonder if I should, like, go to Mount Chimney or something. If that's, like, a possible area of interest. Alright, and the, the non-turbo mode portion of this episode has expired. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me that long. Sorry, Professor Cosmo, I know. I know I should talk to you, but I had to deal with something first. I, I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meteor right away. And then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I didn't understand any of it. <laughs> Dude, I never read the plot either. You are good. But that Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? God, I mean, I guess I'll just have to go to Mount Chimney and find out, but first I'll have to gain the ability to move one square inch without a wild Zubat appearing. Oh my god, this encounter rate feels ridiculous. I mean, at least at least Tabler's name is probably making sense <laughs> to those of you who uh, hadn't originally got it, because these guys are just everywhere. There's just nothing you can do to avoid them. Oh my god. 
Oh, three flinches in a row. Did you guys see that? All right, well, I'm bringing out the heavy guns <laughs> once more. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, all right, first get staticked, and now just perish, or just full-on spraying a repel. I only have the one. <laughs> all right, Moonstone, that's cool. In case we catch a uh, skitty or something. Oh, I wanted to see what was over there. All right. Because I bet that's something. It's not. I bet that's something. It's not. All right. No difference in the pathways. That's cool. That's that's fun, flirty, fresh. But we do have a uh, belligerent dude just standing outside the cave waiting for us to meet him. Isn't that nice? All right. Way to, way to hit him with that magnitude mediocre. <laughs> Thank you for your service. This guy's name was Nob. <laughs> I really only ever realized that at the end, but I cannot wait until I get a knob call. I will do whatever you want, knob. Including get get a great ball and some bluck berries. Blah. And then I could avoid that rival battle, uh, but I, I've got a big PP, I'll do it. That was a reference to the PP up. Is all. We you got yourself a Zangoose. What with the shitty Fury Cutter? I've got myself, what with the low magnitude power. Oh, there we go. Alright, Spot was tired of me talking shit about it. <laughs> Critical hit, too. Nice. And he's also got a Seviper. Those... that doesn't bode well. Literally, these Pokémon's entire personalities are that they hate each other. Why would you put them on a team together? Who... who thought that would be a good idea, sir? And Oval is now the lowest level thing on the team. Congratulations, Spot. All right, and uh, she'll be disturbing some meditation real quick. Yeah, we out here, disturbing meditations. <laughs> Taking super effective confusions really well, Jesus. <laughs> what is Oval's special defense? Let's, ooh, 59, nice. All right, unfortunately, Spoink is, is gonna be a bigger threat to us. <laughs> 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 Nothing scarier than a psychic pig just splashing at us, inexplicably splashing without any water. All right, and you were just you were just chilling on a beach, just doing little flying jumps. And I came in and straight up ruined your day, didn't I? I should probably apologize for that, but instead I'll just uh, render your pets unconscious. Sorry, you've got weirdly humanoid pets. I, I don't feel much sympathy for them. But yeah, so you might recognize this place. It's where I went when I was confused and didn't know where to go in Rustboro. Um, so we're, we just got spat out at a weird location. Um, ugh, look at that, no encounters, love it. And now we're gonna go ahead and just unite two lovers because that's what we do. We are, we are good people, so we're gonna let that lady smash after we smash some rocks. Uh, we already talked about, we, we talked to her about how uh, he's like trying to save, you know, the, the city by smashing the, the rocks, but he can't, but my Meryl can. My level four Meryl is stronger than him. Uh, wow, you shattered that boulder blocking the way. It was, it was Frosico, sir, not me. To show you how much I appreciate it, I'd like you to have this HM. Oh, I forgot that's how you get strength. Damn. <laughs> Sweet. Um, I think you have to um, beat Flannery to get strength to work outside of battle, but that's that's still a pretty powerful move. Um, do we have anyone that can learn it? Let's see. I don't know why I stretched out the um, whoops the vowels in that word like that. But yeah, tap spot and Y two E two and Frosic Frosico can learn strength. <laughs> Oh, I love it. This thing is officially the uh, team mascot slash HM slave. <laughs> Why can Meryl learn strength? That's ridiculous. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, it is a shame that my repel wore off, though. I think, I think I did buy a bunch of regular repels, like, way back in the day, but I'm too lazy to use them and we're almost out of this cave, so. And sweet, we are back in Verdant Turf. And we'll be immediately leaving that place because TBH is just super boring. Uh, and we gotta go to Mount Chimney. We gotta we gotta go uh, fight some some magma boys. 
and it's it's really a long way to go like <laughs> it is quite the journey from from a to b around here um okay and now we go up wonderful and isn't, isn't this beautiful look at what the game boy could do um let's get the ashy Someone should probably put some lotion on. All right, and these guys are just having breakout dog fights all over the place. Am I right, PETA? Um, if you talk to any of them, they're basically just gonna be like, land better than sea. No, sea better than land. What it's like the most obvious case of like, hey guys, <laughs> we gotta have both of these. <laughs> you know, you never, nothing quite gets you feeling like a centrist, like uh, some Hoenn Pokemon games. <laughs> Uh, just kidding, Birdie 2020. Um, what, what, what was that? I, I didn't say anything. Um, okay. And now, we're just gonna fight this other guy, and probably his Nummel. No, he's got a Zubat, sorry, I should never have assumed like that, that really trashed my reputation on here. Um, damn Zubats? Zubats got better special defense than most things we've come across. <laughs> Although I guess I have been using Mudshot, which affects physical defense. Also known as just plain old defense. Uh, Alright, and now I'm going to put Y2E2 out just because I like her. Um, and yeah, so, so basically I'm trying to get them to not throw the meteorite into this volcano. But Admin Tabitha has some things to say about that. Um, and unfortunately, it just they've just all got these Pokemon that Tap is really good at killing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, what, what are you going to do except use the, the wonderful OP boy? Oh, you got a Zubat? That's adorable. That's so quaint. And I, I think, I'm pretty sure that uh, the first Zubat we saw was in this episode. <laughs> Since the start of the episode, we've probably seen, like, around 10. Uh, that might be a very slight exaggeration, but it is, it has been a Zubat-y kind of day. And we're not going to charge into battle with Maxi unless most of our Pokemon are at full health. Let's just see, do we have any Ornberries? We do. Yeah, because, because some of these guys are just, just a little bit shy of being in a ship shape. Uh, shy of ship shape. So, we're going to, we're going to solve that, and I don't think, hey, Whatever, like, for, forget equity. We'll, <laughs> we're going for efficiency here. We'll let Tab destroy Maxi. The power contained in the meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will go, grow deep inside the crater and... <laughs> hmm? Who are you? I'd heard Archie bemoaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you, he meant. Huh. So you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, living things used the land to live and grow. Now it's all gone, I guess? That is why land is all important. It is the cradle of all. That is why Team Magma's take Okay. My, my man, I'm just gonna ask you to go three days without drinking water. <laughs> and see, see how you feel at the end of that. No liquids for three days. And you keep telling me that land is all important. <laughs> Alright, this mighty Enna has intimidated us, which is a damn shame. Um, and its bite kinda hurts. Let's let's see what a water gun will do to it. Yeah, not much better. Oof. Okay. So we'll take we'll take one more attack from you, and then we'll switch into oval, because she bulky. Uh, hopefully this thing doesn't know Pursuit, as it very reasonably could. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. And you know what? Maxi uses a Super Potion, so that means... Oh, I should not have switched into Oval, because my only good attack doesn't hurt you. <laughs> um, yeah, so that should mean that I uh, am able to heal. See, this is, this is my ultimate strategy. <laughs> Let's just have Oval keep stinging this thing and healing itself endlessly. I would hate to fight me right now. There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to once again assume that you don't have Pursuit and switch into, I don't know, Mire. Alright. And give me a tiny bit of health back. Perfect. That took way too long and was way too dangerous. And now I've got a fire type, of course. Of course you do. 
I'm actually in a bit of a sticky situation here. Oof, okay, he's gonna use a fire move. Okay, I have to figure out when when it's safe to heal. We might have to sack Frosico, you guys. <laughs> I might have mismanaged things pretty poorly here. Can Tap take that hit? I don't wanna risk his life. Uh, who's got better special defense? 36 or 43, okay. Have good AI, please. Don't predict this switch. Damn it, damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. How... How did you know? That's ridiculous. He absolutely should have used Ember or something. I swear to god, every time I praise a Pokemon, I lose it. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Alright, yep, go ahead and hit me with another magnitude. Jesus Christ! Alright, I'm gonna just go ahead and say, if he heals, I heal. That's... Oh my god, why didn't you just do that in the first place, you dingus? <laughs> yeah, well, at least Meyer got a level out of it. Oh, and now you've got a Zubat. You know who would have been great for that is our star electric type. Well, I shouldn't have been switching willy-nilly like that. That was absolutely a dumb move that ended up costing another great life, but... Ugh. I, it, it feels like every time I get a break with a Pokemon. Like, like I have my starter, sure. But every time I... I have a Pokemon that I've raised well, and that's, like, really paying dividends in battle, it just goes away. Yeah, Steve, now's not the time. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode.